Greetings Hudson High School Science Scholars, this is Mr. Comer here and in today's laboratory activity um, we are going to be performing the chemical detection of a latent fingerprint using the super glue fuming method. Let me tell you a little bit about what that is. Um, the chemical detection of latent fingerprints essentially involves introducing some sort of chemical that's going to react with um, some sort of chemical that's inside the, the fingerprint itself. So when a trace fingerprint is left, um, fingerprints are mostly sweat and oils and some solids. And when, those, when that sweat uh, evaporates, um, these chemicals like amino acids and glucose and lactic acids are, are left behind. So chemical deten detection involves introducing some sort of chemical that's going to react to and uh, make the fingerprint visible. Um, for photo photography and future analysis. Well, in this case, um, the superglue fuming technique, we're going to introduce the um, active ingredient of superglue, which is cyanoacrylate vapor, and we're going to do so inside of a sealed fuming chamber um, to some object under investigation. And what's going to happen is the superglue then reacts with traces of amino acids, fatty acids, and proteins that are within the latent fingerprint and produces a visible sticky white material um, forming around the ridges of the fingerprint. So this is what you're going to need um, to get that started. You're going to need your object in, uh, investigation. In this case, we're going to use a uh, microscope slide, a glass microscope slide that you've already placed your fingerprint on. Um, we need some super glue. Uh, we'll need a paper towel and 10 milliliters of water. Um, I took a little bit of uh, aluminum foil and I, I kind of made a, a little boat, I'm calling it a little container. And inside that boat, we're going to put a, a cotton ball or a pad. Uh, we also need a fuming chamber. And in this case, I'm just going to use a, a portable uh, Tupperware and some sort of dull heat source. Uh, in this case, we're going to use a, a hot plate uh, set to very low with a um, piece of aluminum foil on top. Um, but I've seen other people use a lamp or um, even a, a warm water bath. So, um, uh, so that's that. So uh, what do we have to do first? Um, I want you to go ahead and place the paper towel inside the fuming paper and moisten it with uh, the water. Um, this is going to create uh, a vapor when we add heat to it that's going to accelerate the process. Take uh, the cotton ball or the cotton pad and place it inside the aluminum boat. And to that, um, place about five to six drops of the super glue on the cotton, being very careful not to uh, get any super glue on your fingers because it will cause them to stick together. You then go ahead and place the aluminum boat inside the fuming chamber along with uh, the object of investigation and you go ahead and seal it up. And then uh, you just place it on top of the heat source for about three to five minutes. It, it happens a little faster than you might think, but uh, if you leave it longer, you, you're, you'll be ensure uh, that you'll uh, get a reaction. And um, that's about it. 